Nats and Cards in St. Louis. Top of the first, Kyle Lowe starting for the Cards in a big jam. Bases loaded, one out facing Michael Morse. And Michael will hit it off the end of the bat and get some great carry to it. And that ball hits the top of the wall. It is in play. Uh-oh, now we've got a backup on the bases. Michael Morse heading back to first. He's going to be tagged out. We got to look at a replay and see where that ball hit. That ball appeared to hit the top of the wall, bounce off the back wall, and it was called in play by the umpires, and this is going to be reviewed. No, there's some clapping going on in the dugout. Sean Burnett. Grand clapping. slam. It's a grand slam for Michael Morse. I think they're trying to determine did any runners pass each other on the bases? They want to make sure Michael Morse touches all the bases. This is awesome. He's running backwards to touch all the bases, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. You know, Michael Morse, has he got to go back in the batter's box? Michael's saying, do I have to swing again? <laughs> Look at it. You got to make a call here on the pitch, don't you? There it goes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Right field. It is deep. <laughs> See you later. Grand slam. The Nationals are on top by four. Wow, not every day you see that. Let's go all the way to the seventh. Two on, one out, Pete Cosma. Hitting it fair down the left field line. This one's going to roll towards the corner. Carlos Beltran scores easily. Skip Schumacher going to try to score. Here comes the play at the plate. Schumacher in there, and so the two-run double cuts the Nats' lead to 4-2. Later in the inning, Sean Burnett now pitching, and John Jay hits one to the right side and through for the base hit. That will score Cosma, and the Nats' lead is cut to one. Let's go to the ninth. Drew Storen looking to close it out, but runners on the corners, one out. Jay coming through again. This time the fly ball to center. The sack fly brings home Cosma, and the game's tied at four. To the top of the tenth, Kurt Suzuki at the plate with runners on second and third and two away. And he goes fastball. It's heading for the gap. The Nets will lead by two. Slamming off the left center field wall. They walked Espinosa to get to Suzuki. The Nationals lead 6-4. to four. That's off of Fernando Salas as the Nats go on to win by that final. Bryce Harper finishes 3-for-5. Craig Stamm in his first career save. And the Nats' magic number for clinching the NL East is 1.